Guys, I was setting up to do this face, okay? And I've got to, I've got to bring the table up. But if you look at the uh, our tool bit here, I've got the table shifted over that way about as far as I'm comfortable going. And we're still a good three quarters of an inch short from, from being able to get over to this edge. I even tried swinging the, uh, the down feed and readjusting the tool post or, or tool bit angle. But then our clapper angle is wrong. So, I th and if you look at the way this vise is on the table here, it's really not centered correctly. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and unbolt the vise and slide this over and figure out where I need to re-drill so that I can get this vise in a more centered location. Let me, uh, let me get this unbolted and I'm going to take it over to the bridge port. I may or may not show that. We're just going to drill some new holes and, and remount the vise. We're going to have to tram it. That's going to be fun, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, and I do have offset tool holders, so we could have we could have done that, you know, use the offset. Um, but I think moving the vise is the right way to do it. You know, we'll, we'll be more rigid with a shorter tool bit, and we're going to have to do it at some point anyway, so let's just do it. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. The back of that fixed jaw is not perfectly flat. And I know the, the working jaw is, uh, it has a little bow and it's not under, under tension. So I'm going to call that good. Alright, so I'm just manually advancing the ram here. And let's see what we can come up with for a touch off. Okay, right there. All right. Okay, we're going to go with the ten thousandths for our first pass. Let's get a little bit of oil on there. We still have the same ten thousandth step over. Well, that's looking pretty good so far. Bring you in for a closer look. 
I don't know what that weird marking is in the center. It may have been something that was in the workpiece before we started. So let me set up for a, we're going to go for a 20 thousandths cut. See what it does. Okay, here we go, 20 thousandths. Let me get you in a little closer. Wow, I've got no complaints. That uh, that's really for a, for that much of a step over and depth of cut. Wow, looks really good. Um, let's do a spring pass. So rather than a true spring pass, I actually dialed in um, one thousandths down feet. Our cleanup pass is looking really nice. Yeah, pretty nice finish. I like it. All right, let me um, flip this over. We'll do the other side. Wow, look at that. I'm really, uh, really happy with that. And I'm really pleased at how well this little shaper handled that. That was a pretty heavy cut for this little guy. And, geez, it did it no problem. All right, let's make a uh, spring pass or a 1,000th uh, downfeed pass. It's been a couple of days since that last clip. Yeah, we had to uh, head out for our uh, Thanksgiving get-together, so I didn't even get to show the finish of the cut. But anyways, there it is. Let's wipe that off a little bit. So, anyways, that looks really nice. Tell you what, while we got this set up, Let's put in the shear tool and see if uh, 
so we can get a really nice finish on there. Alrighty, so I, we've touched off and I've dialed in a one thousandth uh, down feed depth of cut. Got some cutting oil on there. I've changed our step over to our minimum, which is about five thousandths. So let's go. I left our cutting speed the same. Last time when we used the shear tool, we slowed down to our lowest cutting speed, but let's try this a little faster. Man, that is nice. Here's what our what our chips look like. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get this out of here and get it cleaned up. All right, I got a D bird, and I am really excited on how well this turned out. It looks absolutely great. And it just feels fantastic. I mean, it's like glass smooth. That is really amazing. So we've got, we left two live edges or um, hot rolled edges. I think it's kind of cool to leave it that way. This side was our, just our um, spring pass with the uh, roughing tool. Same on the ends. And man, it, shear tool at the end there did a beautiful job so just to wrap this up um, our uh, our roughing tool regrind that we did I think it's great I don't think we have to do anything it, uh, it really did the job <laughs> it that that's not a chip ring that's just polished right there where um, where it was doing the majority of the cutting but it's still Good and sharp, no chipped edges. Did a fantastic job. So, thanks everybody for stopping by. And I had a lot of fun experimenting with this uh, roughing tool. So I've got to make the same modification to the left hand tool that we made, or right, right hand, left, oh, there we go. <laughs> I've got to make the same modification to the, uh, oh, still got it wrong. <laughs> I'm going to make the same modification to the right hand tool that we made on the left hand tool. Our block turned out really nice. Really had a lot of fun doing this. Had a little interruption in the middle of filming. Yeah, we had the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. We had to go uh, meet up with the family uh, for the Thanksgiving meal. And then the next day, the uh, master bedroom uh, or master bath toilet decided to start leaking, so I had to do an emergency uh, toilet replacement. Yeah, so that cut into the time a little bit, but uh, we got it done. So, um, yeah, so we'll come up with something else for the next uh, Shaper video. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I'm scheming on something. Okay, so uh, we'll see you guys then. And please, if you can, hit the um, thumbs up, like button and subscribe if you can as well. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next one.